The summer handicap is next. This is a one and a half mile, naught to a hundred. Once again at Warwick, where we're closing week eight, and it's for three odds. Odds at the top, we got Kinshasa for Satya. I've already won three times in the last five races. Is it still ahead of the handicap? A squadron Sandridge from Martellinum, Dazzy Bawley, Dan Hughes, Glass Jaw, Alex Cherry, Ballerina Queen, Martellinum, Red Rover, Padraig Hogan, Quint Broker for Ben Benici, and Minigal Melody for James Shea. Just eight in this then. And a couple of runners from the local stable as well. Aerial sweep of the track. All quietly installed and ready to go. And away they go closest to us. One of those local horses, Ballerina Queen, a Royal Ascot winner a few weeks ago, was out quickly, but Kinshasa has now gone on to take it up. So Kinshasa is in front. A typical Satyam front runner from Squadron Sandridge, who's now just about showing second. Glass Jewel Red Rover, Ballerina Queen, Dazzy Bordy there. Pretty tightly packed with the exception of the leader, who is Kinshasa, and he's four clear. So Kinshasa then four clear of Dazzy Bordy, the first of the greys on the outside in second. The second of the greys, Ballerina Queen, and on the inside is probably just third. Squadron Sandridge and Glass Jewel between those two. Then Red Rover and Quint Broker, and finally Mini Gale Melody. So Racing down the back part of the track, then they're obscured from the stand at this point. And Kin Shasha is the leader from Squadron Sandridge in second, Dazzy Bawley, and then Glass Jaw and Ballerina Queen. Red Rover is after that one, and finally Quint Broker and Minigale Melody. They're inside the final mile now, and Kin Shasha is still four lengths clear of Squadron Sandridge in second. Then comes Dazzy Bawley on the outside of Glass Jaw, Ballerina Queen quietly on the rail. Well, on that one's outside, Red Rover, Quint Broker is chasing them, and then the one who's just a little bit detached at the back is Minigale Melody but Kinshasa is still at a strong pace and still leads by four lengths to Squadron Sandridge down in trip today in second then comes Glass Jaw and Dazzy Bawley and Red Rover Ballerina Queen still there on the inside gonna need a split gap back to Quint Broker and Minigale Melody but it's still Kinshasa five furlongs to go as they begin to make the way towards home they're past the intersection shortly and Kinshasa is in the lead from Squadron Sandridge second Red Rover on the outside of Ballerina a Queen, then Glass Jaw, Dazzy Bawley, Minigal Melody, and Quint Broker after that one. But they're coming down there towards the final three and a half furlongs and going into the straight. And it's Kin Shasha in the lead. Ballerina Queen now starts to get into overdrive in second. Squadron Sandridge just being a little bit outpaced. Then comes Glass Jaw, Red Rover on the outside. Dazzy Bawley is still there as well. But it's Kin Shasha by a length still from Ballerina Queen, Red Rover, Dazzy Bawley, Squadron Sandridge. They're all beginning to bunch. Glass Jaw still in there as well. It's a furlong and a half to go. And Kin Kinshasa now being pressed by Red Rover on the outside. Kinshasa from Red Rover. These two from Dazzy Bawley. Squadron Sandwich and Ballerina Queen look one pace inside the final foot on the go. It's Red Rover who hits the front. Red Rover's in front from Kinshasa and Dazzy Bawley. Now Squadron Sandwich starts to get going, but it might be a bit too late. Down on the inside, Kinshasa's got back in the lead. Dazzy Bawley's trying to fly back, and Satyam does it again. Kinshasa and Satyam cleaning up the handicaps. Has taken another one with his front running horses that just seem to be able to remain a few pounds ahead of the handicapper. And he's taken that one. Look cozily in the end, Dazzy Bawley second, Red Rover third. The two local horses run out of the first three. And Kin Shasha takes it for Satyam, Dazzy Bawley for Dan Hughes second, Red Rover, Badrang Hogan was third, Squadron Sandridge and Ballerina Queen were fourth and fifth.